Hi, and welcome to another episode of Inspired By. So today's inspiration comes from a treat from Disney World that's usually offered at Storybook Treats. It's the Maleficent Ice Cream Cone. So I love Maleficent. She's probably my favorite evil queen in the Disney verse. Um, I, I got to meet her once. It was very exciting. She, she took to me fairly well, I think, all things considered. Um, but yeah, Maleficent is the queen of evil in the Disney world. And if you ever make it to Mickey's not so scary Halloween party, she leads the way. And there is a special treat just for her. So the actual Maleficent ice cream cone that they offer in Disney World is actually a, an, a lime ice cream or soft serve. I'm actually still feeling the pumpkin flavor of the season, so I'm going to be using a pumpkin ice cream. And this entire recipe is grain-free, sugar-free, dairy-free, so dare I say healthy? Maybe? Anyway, let, let's go make our waffle cones and get this thing started. To make these ice cream cones, we're gonna need the following. We're gonna need some coconut oil, which actually comes in a solid form and it melts, I wanna say approximately around 80 degrees. It does melt at room temperature around the summertime. Then we are going to need some cocoa. This is Hershey's unsweetened cocoa. The next thing that we are going to need is some almond flour, which I have back here in my ooky spooky Halloween skull container, which is a home goods find this year. We also need some sweetener and I'm gonna be using honey. We're going to need one egg, which I got right here. And then also in terms of equipment, we're gonna need this little mold I'm gonna melt some chocolate chips and we are going to either use this hat, which I'm gonna turn sideways, or these shoes. And these are gonna be like the little horns that stick out the side. Then equipment for actually making these ice cream cones, you need these two things. So this is my um, waffle, cone maker and then this is the cone shaper and you'll see how we use those. First thing is to put in half a teaspoon of the coconut oil which I melted in this cup. Next is going to be one teaspoon of the cocoa. Oops, making a mess. Clean that up in a moment. Next, we're gonna use the almond flour, and that's gonna be two tablespoons. Next, we need about two teaspoons of the honey, which I'm going to just sort of approximate. And then we need one egg. And we're just gonna mix this all up. Once it's all mixed up, you'll have a nice batter that looks like this. So from here, I sort of have an assembly line of what I need. So have my waffle cone maker, which again, you could see a little better, the cool little pattern it has there. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna heat this up first and then I'm gonna take about a tablespoon of the batter and put it right in the center and squash it down. Put this little uh, latch on the bottom here. It's gonna cook 30 seconds to a minute. 
we're going to flip it over. Then we're going to bring it over here and open it up. We're going to take this little spatula, scrape it off of here, and from the spatula, put it onto this towel. Then we're going to take this shaper and we're going to roll the cone around the shaper and we'll put it on a plate to, to cool down in the shape. So that is the plan. Let's, uh, let's see if it goes according to plan. Maleficent ice cream cone. Not necessarily as good with the horns as the ones directly in Disney. I can look into different molds. I was hoping that this would be a good enough shape, but I think they could have been a little bit bigger. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. The pumpkin ice cream, the, or nice cream, since I didn't actually show me making it in this video, I want to make sure that I tell you the recipe. It's two to two and a half frozen bananas, half of a can of pureed pumpkin, about tablespoon to two tablespoons of honey, put in the food processor, bzzz, pumpkin ice cream. It's really easy and straightforward to do. If you give this video a try, let me know how it worked for you in the comments below. Or if there's any other recipes you'd like to see in the future, comment below as well. I'd love to hear your suggestions. Also, just as a reminder, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, stay inspired. Bye.